Perhaps you have a data kitchen that looks something like this, or maybe it even looks like this. In today's post, I'm gonna show you eight real life examples of how you can transform your dated kitchen with an extremely small budget. So if you're thinking about buying a house with a dated kitchen and it's kind of giving you pause or you're really tired of looking at the eyesore in your house, this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how to make things like brown granite disappear, formica, ugly formica countertops, ugly flooring, ugly cabinets, all of that and more. Hi, I'm Ashley from the blog homelikeyouminit.com. I'm a paint color consultant and decorator and my job is to help you design the home that you love. So let's get started. The first kitchen that we're going to look at today is absolutely stunning and most of the transformation was done thanks to the power of paint. And if you've watched any of my other videos before, you know I love paint. It is one of the cheapest ways to completely update your house. This kitchen is no exception, so let's look at it. Okay, so as you can see here, the granite in this kitchen is very, very dated. However, you almost don't even notice it because Erica from Designing Vibes has done such a good job picking out a neutral paint color to work with the granite. Now, when you're working with brown dated granite, you really have one of two options, and I've got a lot of both of these to show you. You can either pick a neutral paint color to lighten it up that works well with the granite that kind of relates to the undertones that you see in the granite, or you can go with like a moody, dark kitchen, and that works really well too to disguise the granite. Either way, you really have to pay attention to the paint color and making sure that it relates to the granite because you don't wanna make the granite stick out at all. The idea here is to disguise the granite completely. So as you can see here, the, the homeowner chose not to go with kind of a moody, dark vibe, but she wanted to neutralize the space and choose a paint color that worked with the granite. So she went with Benjamin Moore Northern Cliffs. And then on the wall with the board and batten that you can see, she went with Sherwin-Williams Soji White. So both of those colors like the, the first one that I mentioned is more of a grayish, um, not too light, but really kind of works with the undertones, kind of like those brown pinky undertones you see in the granite. And then Soji White is a cream with green undertone. Here's why this kitchen worked well, as opposed to say something like this. And I see this happening a lot. When you've got dated kitchens with dated cabinets and dated um, countertops, you know, everyone wants a white kitchen, right? So people just rush to put bright white paint on the cabinets or the backsplash. When you're dealing with granite, what you need to do is you need to pick a much softer paint color. And oftentimes this is gonna be a cream, a, gr a very, very pale grayish with kind of undertones that's, that are gonna relate to the cabinet color um, or something like that. If you put bright white, if you even a lot of off-whites are too stark, it, just makes the cabinets, or I'm sorry, it makes the granite stick out like a sore thumb. And that's not what you wanna do. Your goal here with, with countertops that you don't like is to disguise, 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 and you do that by picking the right neutral, and that's not a bright white. My next kitchen, if you have been following Chris Loves Julia for a while, and who hasn't, they have renovated so many homes and their projects are always stunted. They very famously renovated a kitchen with honey oak cabinets and dated granite and went all in on a very moody color. And the kitchen is absolutely stunning. So let's take a look. So in this kitchen that you see here, like I said, they had honey oak cabinets and then they had a dated brown granite. They used a, a dark, kind of like a greenish gray color called uh, Thunderous by Sherwin Williams and completely, I would say, almost color drenched the space. Okay, so, and I have a lot of examples of people going very, very bold with granite countertops and it, or, you know, brown countertops, and it works so well. So in this kitchen, they did um, Sherwin-Williams Thunderous. That's a very, very dark greenish gray, and they really kind of put it everywhere. So as you can see, um, they replaced an ugly backsplash with vertical pan paneling shiplap, which they painted the same color, Everything is that pretty green gray. You almost don't even notice the countertops anymore. Um, it's absolutely stunning and green is majorly trending. So that kind of works to modernize the space as well. And of course they also changed out the lighting, swapped out the knobs, um, changed out the plumbing fixtures. All in all, this budget, and I will link all of these blog posts below so you can go and kind of look at a lot of the before and after pictures. 
this renovation was a thousand dollars which is really insane considering how big this kitchen is it's just a testament to what you can do with a little paint and you know a very very small budget okay sometimes you don't get stuck with a kitchen that has honey or dark stained cabinets that you don't like or an ugly countertop sometimes it just looks kind of boring and builder grade and that's the case for this kitchen that we're going to look at right now this is by angela marie mage she's an extremely talented blogger again i will link the blog post below so you can see all the projects she did with this kitchen but one of the first things she did was tackle the laminate cabinet she thought those were dated and not very pretty and she's right the before pictures are really a testament to that so she did um on the top on the upper she did white dove by benjamin moore which is one of my favorite soft whites and then she did agreeable gray on the bottom which is a soft grayish with a green undertone really works with a lot of different finishes now she got lucky she had a pretty timeless solid black countertop which you know, honestly did not need to replace. It wasn't that shiny black granite that a lot of people are rushing to rip out and replace with quartz. So she had a pretty timeless countertop. Now she did add a white subway tile backsplash. And I just wanna, I wanna take a full minute almost to talk about white subway tile. If you have not discovered the power of white subway tile and you have a dated kitchen or even a dated bathroom, you are really missing out. So white subway tile you can get it as low as like 15 cents i think when we renovated our bathroom and i'll put a picture up here it was about 10 cents um, most kitchens are not going to use more than 30 to 40 square feet of tile if you multiply 15 cents by the square footage that comes out to about 55 dollars in tile if you get like the cheapest tile and let me say you know we put it in our bathroom five years ago i have absolutely no complaints now it's not anything um, extravagant it doesn't have any movement in the tile it's not a high-end look at all but to elevate a space that is in serious disrepair and i mean look at this kitchen it is absolutely gorgeous with this tile do not underestimate the power of white subway tile especially the cheap tile um, and i will link some of those below especially the one that we use okay another thing that they did in this kitchen which i absolutely love especially when you're dealing with a smaller kitchen like one of those u-shaped kitchens a lot of the upper cabinetry just can really feel bulky and heavy and make the space dark and dated so they replaced they took off a couple of the um, upper cabinets and replaced it with open shelving I know there's a lot of controversy on open shelving. I personally think in small doses with everyday items that you're gonna use frequently, um, rather than just like putting a bunch of decor that's gonna get dusty and dirty. I think it's a great win, especially to get rid of that bulk with the upper cabinetry. So they did that. They also removed the microwave from above the stove, which you see in so many builder grade kitchens. It really dates a kitchen. It really makes a kitchen kind of feel cheap. So if you can remove that microwave and put it somewhere else, like maybe in a pantry or, um, you know, a tiny one on your countertop, something like that, it is always a good investment. All in all, this kitchen went from dated, builder grade, boring to gorgeous. When Lauren from Bless Her House moved into her kitchen, it was not horribly dated. It had white cabinets, leathered granite. Now, mind you, it wasn't a black timeless leathered granite or a white quartz, but it really wasn't that ugly brown builder grade granite that so many of us inherited in the 80s and 90s and early 2000s. She did have an, a pretty dated pencil tile backsplash and dated floors and fixtures and those types of things but in terms of outdated kitchens not too bad however it wasn't her style and if something isn't your style why not make it your style right just like with all of the other kitchens we've seen paint absolutely transformed this kitchen and to really kind of hide and disguise that granite that she didn't really like she chose sherwin williams billard green on her lower cabinetry which i think was a stunning choice Green is really in right now, and a lot of people are rushing to put that on their cabinets, so I love that choice. And then she went with a softer white, Benjamin Moore Simply White on her uppers. Now, she also wanted to get rid of that pencil tile backsplash, which I think is always a good choice. I think a busy backsplash is never a good solution. It looks 
busy. It looks dated. Um, that pencil tile was very heavily used in a lot of kitchens in the 90s and early 2000s and I absolutely recommend you getting rid of that. She chose a very inexpensive white tin backsplash that she did herself. Again, very budget friendly. Really worked to bring that kitchen up to date, get rid of those busy tiles in the back and really kind of make everything work well together. Now, of course, she also um, updated her hardware, updated a lot of the fixtures, replaced the lights. She did a lot of gorgeous styling. She really is extremely talented with styling. You know, one of the last things you should do, especially in a kitchen when you feel like it's just, you know, kind of lack something is style it. Bring in some pretty cutting boards for warmth, some plants, maybe some um, basil or rosemary, things like that. Some copper. I love copper. I think it is gorgeous in a kitchen works to soften it up no matter what your color scheme copper works really well just things like that so again blown away by the power of paint and replacing that busy dated tile this next kitchen from I Spy DIY might be one of my favorites Jenny worked her magic here she inherited a very very dated kitchen I'm talking about ugly countertop very old ugly wooden cabinets that are extremely out of date, light fixture that was out of date. Everything looked, I mean, you would have seen this house and you would have said, absolutely not. However, a small budget of $1,000 completely transformed this space. Let's take a look. So again, the first thing she did, no surprise here, she painted her cabinets. They were old, they were dated. She also added some trim around them to make them look like shaker style doors, which I think was a perfect solution given that they were just a flat panel, looked very cheap. So that was a great way to transform those cabinets. She painted them using a Rust-Oleum product, which a lot of people do when they're painting cabinets because it's kind of like a one-step solution and it's extremely durable, which is what you want when you're painting cabinets. You don't want that paint to rub off in just you know a few years or so. She went with a grayish kind of color. Um, if you check out her blog post, which I will link below, she goes through the exact process and the color she used, but this is a really pretty grayish. Now, she also replaced her countertops, which I think was a great solution given what they were. Um, she went with butcher block. I have not personally used butcher block. However, my in-laws put butcher block in their kitchen several years ago. It still looks great and they cook in their kitchen every single day. You do have to kind of be mindful of it and keep it up. Um, waxing it and that that type of thing and sealing it making sure that water doesn't sit on it but in terms of budget-friendly countertops butcher block is probably one of the cheapest things that looks the best that you can put in your kitchen again this entire renovation was under a thousand dollars if that tells you how inexpensive butcher block is you can see how gorgeous it looks in this space besides updating her countertop and her cabinets. Again, she also used that white subway tile, which that cannot be beat in terms of value and then the overall look that you receive at the end. It's just absolutely gorgeous, super inexpensive way to update a kitchen. Of course, she also um, updated some of her hardware and fixtures. I, did, I do think she replaced some of her, um, maybe her dishwasher, um, very inexpensively. She painted the light fixture to look like a copper light. She did a lot of beautiful and clever styling, which again, as we've seen with all these other kitchens, really kind of takes a boring kitchen to a not so boring, absolutely gorgeous magazine worthy type kitchen. So don't overlook the power of simple styling. Things like copper pots, really pretty flowers, that nature really work to elevate the space. Okay, I said the last kitchen was dated. This kitchen was very, very dated. This next project I have for you is by Bigger Than The Three Of Us. They're an extremely talented couple. Um, Ashley worked to really transform this kitchen. She inherited a kitchen with extremely dated cabinets and that pink brown granite that you see, rather than replace it and spend thousands, she wanted to work with it. And one of the ways that we have seen that that works, like you saw earlier with Chris and Julia, is to paint it a dark, moody paint color. So in this kitchen, she chose Bayer's Cracked Pepper, which is actually their 2024 color of the year. It's a lot like Sherwin-Williams Iron Ore. It's an off black, so a soft black. And again, it just works to give the kitchen this dramatic, moody feel and almost completely hides 
the countertops completely. If you look more into this project, and I will link this post below where she details everything, they did do a lot of cosmetic work. I think her overall budget was something like 12 to 15,000. But given that most kitchens, kind of the bare bones remodeling starts at like 26,000, I think this was an amazing way to spend this kind of money in the kitchen. And I'm completely amazed at what they did with such a small budget. Now, look at this picture. You notice what you see in the backsplash. It's that subway tile to the rescue again. Now you'll notice some cabinet hardware. Again, a very inexpensive way to completely transform your kitchen is to put in some nice cabinet hardware. In this kitchen, they chose, it looks like an unlacquered brass, which I am loving. I think that's absolutely timeless, will never go out of style and completely elevates your kitchen. You notice they put in new light fixtures, open shelving, which really worked to kind of bring some color into the kitchen. I mean, they had plenty of color given those dark moody cabinets, but I really like the, the moment that the open shelving created. They have updated some of the appliances. Again, this is a stunning transformation for, I think it was 12, 15,000. I'm amazed at what they did. You will not believe what wildflower interiors did with this kitchen. They inherited a kitchen that was so dated. We're talking about cherry cabinets and the type of cherry that no one really wants basic brown and green granite and then a patterned tile backsplash and then dated tile on the floors. If you look at the after picture, you will be absolutely amazed. Again, this was done with an extremely small budget as well. So let's talk about the things that she did to transform the space on the Jeep. Okay, so just like with a couple other examples that I showed you, they really wanted to lean into the dark moody look to kind of disguise that granite. I think that was a, a stunning choice. The granite was pretty dark compared to like the first example I showed you where it was pretty easy to go with a light paint color on the cabinets. It would have been a little bit harder with this granite. They went with a fusion mineral paint. Um, it's very similar to Sherwin-Williams Rushing River if you wanna look that up, but it's like a dark grayish green or greenish gray, depending on the lighting and you know how you look at it. I think it was a stunning choice. Now, instead of using subway tile or something inexpensive like that, they went with a vertical shiplap backsplash and painted it the same color. Color drenching is very, very big right now when you paint everything in the room the same color. Um, I think that this look is absolutely stunning. Again, works really well to disguise the eye. And if you do this all yourself, you're talking about paying for the cost of paint plus vertical shiplap boards, which are not very expensive at all. Okay, the last example I have for you is someone actually keeping their cabinets. A lot of people say, I don't wanna paint over all of this pretty wood or you know that's too big of a project for me. This example is for you. So this kitchen, uh, and they shared on their blog, this was done by Simply Two Moms. They had a budget of 10,000, so a little bit more than a lot of the budgets that we've seen, but they did several things. Now, when you don't wanna paint your cabinets and they're like a darker wood, like this is a cherry wood, but you want a lighter kitchen, it is gonna cost you a little more because more than likely you're gonna to have to put in like a warm white quartz, quartz is several thousand dollars depending on how large of a square footage you're putting it down. So they went with a warm white quartz um, countertop to replace that busy brown, like it was like a brown black green granite that none of us want right now. They also replaced their skinny pencil tile backsplash that was just way too busy. And again, always something I recommend doing. Um, you'll, you'll notice though that they did try to bring in some warmth through re, um, repainting the kitchen island. They used uh, Revere pewter, but they lightened it so much. Um, so it, it honestly looks more like a cream color right here. And then they removed the microwave from over the stove, which, um, and then of course they replaced their um, fixtures, some of the, I think she put in a kitchen or a farmhouse sink, replaced the lighting, replaced some of the knobs and cabinets, but all in all, for a budget of 10,000, this is a pretty impressive way to completely transform a dated kitchen with cherry cabinets and super busy backsplash. So there you have it, eight gorgeous real life examples of small budgets working to completely transform dated kitchens disguising that ugly brown granite despite disguising tile 
I am so blown away by these renovations. I wish that we had done this while we were waiting for our renovation because I inherited a kitchen that had super ugly brown travertine backsplash with a brown granite and brown cabinets. I absolutely hated the space and I wish I would have done something like this because I would have loved the space much longer. So if you are tired of looking at something rather than waiting for a large scale renovation, spend you know a few hundred bucks a thousand bucks change your cabinets change your backsplash i promise you will be amazed at the results and you will likely love them as always thank you for watching please subscribe if you like some of this content and i'll be happy to answer any questions you have in the comments below